Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dan. And I'm going to show you how to use some of the instrument uh, tools that we have with our National Instruments Elvis board and the uh, tools that go with it. So first I'm going to talk to you about the digital multimeter. The multimeter does a lot of cool things. I'm going to talk to you about some of the ones that we can use to troubleshoot our circuits. Uh, the first one is just the continuity tester. And so when you're using a continuity tester, it's basically just checking if there is a signal, a pathway. And so we select the continuity tester and we select run. And then if I just touch the two probes together, you can hear it, we get a sound and it tells us we had a good connection. Okay, so that's very simple. Uh, one of the things that it might be useful for, for troubleshooting circuits, is you can start to figure out where you might have a loose connection or a short or something that's not working correctly. So for instance, if I'm trying to figure out if I have a good connection between my electrodes and the actual instrumentation amplifier, I can do that with the continuity tester. So I have the continuity tester running now. If I touch this pin here and our electrode, and I get a good signal like that, that means that there is a good pathway all the way through there. Now the continuity test tester isn't perfect. It might not be like a great pathway, but there is a pathway to electricity. And so at least you can eliminate that part of the circuit as a problem. Um, sometimes I've found that you just won't get a signal and you're trying to figure out why. Uh, unfortunately, it could be a number of issues. It could be with the electrodes. I also found you can have problems with the hookup wires themselves. Some of them just don't work for whatever reason. So you can test those with the continuity tester there. Uh, easiest way, maybe just so I can show you, is plug them in here to immobilize them. And if I touch the two ends of the wire. Okay, so that wire is good. So I know that's not going to be a problem for me either. So you can go through your circuits and figure out what's wrong with continuity. Another thing the multimeter can do is check your resistors and capacitors to see if they're working. So if you can just select the resistance and I go ahead and set run. You can check the value of a resistor by just uh, touching the two leads. I put it in the Elvis board just to kind of immobilize it. And you can see this is about one kilo ohm resistor. And so that's good. Uh, you can read that from the colors, but it's also nice to confirm the exact value in case you're trying to design your filters perfectly. Okay, and we can also look at capacitance with this. So we select the capacitance, and it tells us where to plug the capacitor in on our Elvis board. It's a little bit different than using the probes. You actually have to plug it in. So I hit run, and you see over in the Elvis board, there's these D ut plus and D ut minus. I can plug my capacitor. into there and you can see I get a reading of 14.65 nanofarad. Okay, and so that's how you can check your capacitor. Again, it has that written on it, but if you wanna get the exact value for your circuit design, you should go ahead and check your capacitors to do that. And the last thing you're probably gonna to wanna to do is use the voltmeter to check your voltages. Uh, and so there's AC voltage and also DC voltage. Most likely because we're using batteries to power things, we're gonna focus on the DC voltage for this. You can go ahead and check your batteries directly. So if I go ahead and check this battery. Okay, so it's only telling me one volt. Now that's a bad nine volt battery, so that's no good. Let me check my other one. I'm just touching the battery terminals here. Okay, and so we can see it has nine volts, which is good. So let me go ahead and replace this bad battery. Okay, I'm gonna check a, a replacement battery. Okay, and we're up to eight volts, which is good enough for our purposes. Okay, but now again, we probably really wanna figure out if our battery power is correctly getting into our op amp and our instrumentation amplifiers. So we can go ahead and do the same thing that we did before um, when we looked at continuity is we can measure the voltage across our op amps. Okay, so I have my instrumentation amplifier set up. I wanna see if the battery voltage is actually powering it correctly. And so we know pin four is VCC minus and pin seven is VCC plus. So if I check the differential between those, I should see a total of 18 volts. And since one of my batteries is only eight volts, I should see 17 volts in this case. So I can measure by touching the two pins and you can see that I do have 17 volts of power. Okay, and that means I likely have the power set up correctly into my instrumentation amplifier. Those are the kinds of things that you'd use a digital multimeter for. You know, just troubleshooting circuits by measuring voltages, measuring continuity, measuring the different components, and make sure they're working correctly.